So what do we have in store for you for today's video is a Funko mail call from Animatasia. A lot of the Sailor Moon Pops, though they're vaulted, are kind of popping up on all these websites. So in this particular video, we're going to check out a pop that Chris has been looking for for a long time, and I cannot wait to unbox it. What is going on everyone? I'm the Patrick. This is Carissa. We are Tomorrow Comes Movies. Welcome to our channel. Appreciate you stopping by. If you're not familiar with us, we do podcasts, we do Funko, we do interviews, and we do con cards. So if any of that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. Of course, hit the bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So as I said in the intro earlier, we have a Funko mail call from Animatasia. So this contains a Sailor Moon Pop. Now the Sailor Moon Pops, the whole line, I believe is pretty much vaulted. And I think it was vaulted, what, last year? Or the, no, not last year, the year prior. I think they just started vaulting them, right? I don't know, the years went together. Well, as, soon as, they, as soon as they vaulted it, it started skyrocketing all the prices. Now, there's some that were already pretty high anyway. I think there's a yeah. few Sailor Moon, um, in particular variants. The Box Lunch, the Hot Topic. The there's Bill a three-pack. Yeah, there's a Chibi Sailor Moon that's pretty high as well. But a bunch of sites are, like, stocking these. And so Chris and I were first kind of, like, perplexed. Like, is so are they vaulted or are they not? But anyways, there was one in particular that Krista never saw on any of the websites originally when they dropped. Most of the common wave, Tuxedo Mask, Sailor V, Sailor Jupiter, oh, Sailor Moon, and Luna. But this pop that we're going to unbox is one that they weren't really restocking. Next thing you know, they popped it up on a website. I've been looking for two pops for my common wave of the first wave of Sailor Moon. I've been looking for Mercury and Mars. I passed on them so many freaking times. When this popped up... I think we got the notification on Twitter from I, one of the, the Funko Pop sites. I don't know if it was Funko Finders or if it was... Sir Lance. Sir Lance. I, think it was I, Sir I don't Lance. know. It was, it, it was somebody. Or just Pops. Could have been one of them. Well, it could have been just Pops. I don't know. Anyways, as soon as it popped up, I immediately am like, oh my god. I need this. So Animatasia, as Chris has said, we've gone to the booth many times. A lot of great deals at cons. Chris has picked up quite a few things. I'll link some videos above. Like there was one point where I think Chris had got some Karate Kid, the OG Pops, for a really I good got price. Johnny Lawrence and Mr. Miyagi from Animatasia at Phoenix, whatever it's called. Phoenix Con, Fan, Fusion. Fan Fusion. But they've been, the, I would say the 2018 to 2019 run, we were visiting that booth all the time at different yeah. cons. So buying from them for the first time, we're going to see how it goes, but they've always had a lot of great pops and good condition pops at booths. So this will be yes. kind of a yes. fun experience. And so let's good see. deals, good deals. Yes. Okay. So now when I bought these, I believe they were $35 each. If not, I'll be corrected. Again. And I believe it did say it was going to ship with the pop protector. And they were supposed to ship by the 19th. Well, I think they technically did. They did. Right? Yeah, they did. Yes. Yeah. So. We got the uh, peanuts. Some people don't like peanuts. Yeah, I mean, but packing peanuts are cool. Actually, yeah, they, they actually put quite a quite I just a don't like them because they get everywhere. Yeah, actually, real quick here. Just to show you, they actually did put a lot, of, which is not bad considering it's already in a pop protector. Maybe that might be the way to go with Funko Pops if you, if you think about it, because you're not putting any extensive pressure with like the air bubbles or the bubble actually, wrap. Yeah, it's a good idea. Actually, that's a good idea. I might ship one day a pop and see how that goes. I've never done peanuts. We had peanuts. I only use them for moving. But anyways, this pop, this is the one she's been looking for for the longest time. Now, she also doesn't tell you guys she, well, actually, everyone who watches our channel is pretty, pretty much knows this. You're very frugal with, you know, spending a lot of money on a pop. Yeah. This pop was around 40 when it was in its prime, I believe. Yeah, 30, then, 40. and then it just went up from there. After it went past 30 and 40, that's when Chris is like, no way. But finally... Well, it's because they weren't in good condition. Why am I going to pay $40, $30 for a, a pop that's not in good condition? That is true, and also... Um, it was We would see one, like, maybe one every four cons. But this is the pop that she's been waiting for. Unveil it. This is so exciting for you. Sailor Mars. I think this was arguably one of the hardest pops to get. And Chris was right. Trying to get one, uh, I think she said it earlier, trying to get one mint. Mint yes. Sailor Moon pops were kind of mint. really, it's a rarity, like attack on time. Very hard yeah, to find. Yeah, I mean, they're, they were made in 2016. So I mean, to get it in like really good condition. And I don't know, a lot of that I did see, like whether it be like on Macari or eBay or offer up. Over. It was Price. just overpriced and it wasn't worth it for me because if I want to spend 60 to $80 on a pop that's only trending for like 50 I want to make sure it's in good condition. I'm oh. not just going to be, you know, rushed to buy it because I want it. 
It's because the demand, excuse me, when they vaulted them, people feel obligated to jack up the prices. But Animatasia priced it pretty much pretty fair, actually. I think a yeah. little bit lower than what it's going for. But yes, it did come in a 0.5 point protector, or pot protector, excuse me. So this is the Sailor Mars pot, which I think is a uh, very hard to find. So when was this made? I'm just kind of curious. I'm curious it must have been made recently. Yeah, they were made in, uh, looks like October of 2020. So I think they're vaulted in our country. Or I think that there was like, maybe like Funko's like, you can make one last order a batch internationally. And I think a lot of these other retailers scooped them up. Maybe for, for Funko Europe? Yes, actually, yes. You may be onto something. I think that's exactly that's what it was. That's why you might be seeing restocks of stuff that's Volton. Ooh, yeah, there are rumors Tanita might get restocked yeah. for recently. So Sailor Mars, Krissa, you're a huge Sailor Moon fan. Where does Mars stack up for you? You know, I, I don't like when you ask me these questions of who's your favorite. What would you? We pick? know who your favorite I'm, is. Well, yeah, we know who your Jupiter favorite Jupiter is. Jupiter's my favorite, but it's like, how do I? How do you rank them? You know I, what I mean? I think people do. I and mean, even, anything. Like, when we were little, and my cousins and I would play Sailor Moon, I was always Sailor Jupiter. That makes sense. Like, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think I can rank them. Well, they did. Uh, it's actually in a really nice pop protector as well. So let's actually open this up. A lot of these uh, companies are doing this thing where they put the the flap in the front versus Maybe the back. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it? Uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. But here it is, Chris. But it's supposed to be mint, and it looks like it's pretty much no, mint. No, it looks fantastic. Those peanuts might be the answer, I guess. Possibly. Wow. What pops do you have from the Sailor uh, Moon lineup? I mean, I know you have... Actually, Chris has a, quite a few of them signed. I actually have um, all of the common. I just need my Mercury now. Mercury, well. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and wow. then, of course, you have the Sailor Moon Hot Topic. Um... And then no, no, yeah, I have the 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 Sailor V uh, Fall Convention exclusive. Now Sailor Mars is a interesting character depending on which anime you watch. She's very uh, feisty in the original, yes. you said, and the second one I think she are in the I guess the what's Crystal it? the Crystal remake. Uh, very interesting backstory with her, but I have to say that they did a really good job with this. I'm kind of surprised that Sailor Mars um, got restocked. I mean, she was. At one point, I think last year, she was up to $100. It was getting out of control, and then she kind of dropped. I think everyone's just kind of like... I think Sailor Moon is incredibly popular, but I think like we're seeing right now with Attack on Time with the final season, pops are skyrocketing, and people are capitalizing, but I would just tell you, if you're interested in the Sailor Moon wave or the pops or just the show in general and you like this stuff, snatch it up now because it's going to be harder in the future. Don't be like Chris because how long has it been? Like a two, three year journey to get it's been these. two years. Oh yeah, I remember getting you one. I think I got you Jupiter for Christmas years ago. Years ago. And now it's and like... And then I got a Jupiter signed at ECCC in 2018 and I got it signed by the dub voice actress Amanda Miller. Yeah. And that was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And you also, Chris, is, I'll point a few videos just because if you're a Sailor Moon fan, but she also got, uh, got Venus signed. Venus signed. I got Tuxedo Mask signed. Yeah, I think and the I same got video. Luna. And Luna. Yeah, you can see all those videos. All from cons. And actually, I think pretty I much cons. three out of four of them were free. Chris is really excited about the restocks, but she's not a fan of some of the exclusive ones because they come with a special edition sticker. We don't really like it. I think a lot of a lot of Americans don't, don't like that international like the sticker. Special sticker. Yeah, because it's. I prefer for myself to wait to get the retailer, even though they may not be in the best quality. Though. Yeah. But luckily, Sailor Mars is a common, yeah. so it shouldn't really mess it up for you. But yes, you got Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mars. Wow, this is very exciting for you because we were actually. This is just an extra Jupiter I have out of box. I think this is when we were buying from Amazon and it came down. Oh yeah, right? before we were collecting pops, <laughs> I bought it off Amazon. And I was like, I, even then, I was like, no, damage is a no no. But here is the Sailor Mars pop as you guys saw it spun earlier. She's got her costume on, 
and she's doing a little bit of a pose. An I kind of, yeah. I kind of wanted to see more action poses uh, if they make any more Sailor Moon pops because, um, especially when they're transforming into their Sailor stuff, their Scout stuff, I really would like to see that more often. But I don't know how profitable the Sailor Moon line is. It seems like it is because I mean these restocks are selling out. But what is your favorite thing off this pop? How does it stack up with the other ones that you've had in your collection? It's awesome. This is kind of like a personal grail for Chris, to be it honest is. with you. I know it's not like trending super high, but it's a pop I've wanted for so long, and now I finally have it. I'm actually kind of curious now, with Sailor Moon getting a whole bunch of restocks after they've been vaulted, because you know, with vaulted pops, they don't really make any more, except uh, I guess Funimation did that with the All Might Glow, regular four inch, but will Attack on Time now be getting restocks? Cause Possibly. There are rumors that Attack on Time is doing uh, restocks because I know there was a press release with Funimation that they're going to be doing more things merchandise wise with Funko. Do you want to see more Volted Pops like this get restocked? Because I know you're a huge Sailor Moon fan and these were very hard to obtain but this is a brand new fresh batch. You have an opportunity to get this pop which you have now and Mercury. I think Mercury's now up uh, available right? I think she's up. I think she, she's not available? No oh. she's available. I would have bought her. She will be coming soon I have a feeling but are you happy with this restock or are you worried about values? Cause I mean. I mean, for me, I just wanted the pop. You don't care about the value. Well, what if Tanyita gets restocked? I know how proud you are of that Tanyita. I'm okay with Tanyita because I paid only like 40 bucks tops with the pop and the signature. Think, oh yeah, that's right. Mine yeah. signed. That's right. So, you know, for the people that paid over hundred dollars, I felt bad because that sucks. That is true. That is true. But I have to say, I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Animatasia. They did a really good shipping job. We've never bought from them before online-wise, but I definitely would do it again because I think you're right. The peanuts might be... A... I think I might like the peanuts. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious, Snoopy. I'm so but anyways, uh, pretty happy about this. Let us know in the comments below, have you caught any of the uh, restocks of the Sailor Moon Vaulted Pops? How do you feel about Vaulted Pops possibly being restocked like this? And uh, what's your favorite uh, Sailor Scout? So this concludes the video. I'm so happy to have this. And I think the next step for us is there was a con that was supposed to happen this year, but we knew it really wasn't going to happen. But the uh, current actor, uh, actress, excuse me, that voices Sailor Mars, Chris will begin that sign. I'll hand that to you. Thank you. It's and with pop. this, uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Of course, hit the bell so you're notified when new videos drop. If you like podcasts, we do one. It's available on every platform except YouTube. We do need to get some new content out to you guys. If you like interviews and you like con covers, check out our back catalog. So that is it. So have a good night, have a good pop, and stay plus ultra. Today comes pops, but tomorrow comes movies.